What's up, guys? Today we'll be talking about a new anime coming soon in 2022 called Uzumaki. To be completely honest with you guys, I haven't heard about this manga at all. It was one of those late nights, we're playing the game, um, and I have Toonami on and something just caught my eye. It was a preview for a new anime series to premiere on Toonami. This anime isn't like most animes that I've seen with your typical hero versus villain, antagonist, protagonist. It looks like a horror series, but on an anime, which the only thing I've seen close to that is Parasite. But this looked original. This looks like something I've never seen before. The anime is completely colorless, which in my eyes really drives the spooky factor into the whole anime and then on top of that the music that they're using is straight creepy but also awesome the voice actors that you can hear are really good everything going into this seems like a well-produced really original anime that i'm super excited for the part that's killing me and i'm sure the few others that have been paying attention to this release is that it's taking a really long time for it to come out and there's extremely limited details and previews on the anime so limited in fact that i forgot about this anime i forgot that he was even coming out or if it was coming out at this point um if you were lucky enough to see this commercial on adult swim or tsunami a couple times then you understand so here's what we know about the anime so far Toonami is taking extra care with the production of this whole thing. It's being directed by Hiroshi Nagahama, who's giving us the updates in the videos that we have. So we have two videos of him talking about the process and creativity going into the producing this anime. They're trying to keep this anime as close to the manga as possible, going as far as not adding any color to keep the art as close to the drawings and the manga as possible. And that's sick. I mean... It worked for Sin City, but seriously, having no vibrant colors, just black and white, is almost a form of prison in itself, and it really can shape a mood, especially when trying to convey hopelessness and extreme despair. In fact, people going through depression have even said that the world doesn't look as bright, and everything is just kind of black and white. The director also tells us that it's sticking to its core root, as in it's going to be more of a wrap you in thriller than a jump scare horror film. It's going to take us through twists and turns, unexpected happenings, and maybe even peering into ourselves. The director also says that he changed some things around in the story. He doesn't necessarily say that the ending changes from the original in the manga, but he does say that things are different. I love this because things aren't going to be all black and white. This is going to be something for new fans, for old fans, for everyone. In the second video, and the most recent one, we actually get a good chunk of the first part of the first episode, and it looks incredible. We see a girl walking in what is introduced as her old town. She's going to tell us about all the strange things that's happened in her town. In these couple of frames, the painstaking attention to detail is prevalently available. It gives you the creeps just looking at it. And that's what Junji Ito has done for millions of manga readers. He just has the ability to make you feel uncomfortable. And that's a perfect trait to have when writing a horror manga. I can't wait to get some more news on here and give you guys another update. Hopefully the next video is on the breakdown of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and are excited as I am to watch this new anime called Uzumaki. I got a good feeling that it's going to make a pretty big impact on the anime world. If you guys have anything to add to this conversation, please put it in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video to help with the algorithm and hit that subscribe button. Keep watching anime. Keep being yourself. It's been great, Ape. Love you guys.